Hey what's up guys, in this video we are going to talk about CSS borders. So in CSS we can use the border property and we can add border around an element. And also we can specify the style, width and color of an element's border. Like an example, inside the style tag we can select the h1 element and then we can use the border style property and we can specify the style of the border. And the border style can be dotted. So there is going to be dotted border around the element and also we can have dashed border and also we can have the solid border and also we can have the double border. Similarly also we can specify the border value as none so this way there will be no border around the element and also the border style can be hidden so there will be one hidden border around the element. Now we can specify different style for the four sides of the border. Like an example, we can have the dotted style for the top of the border. We can have the dashed style for the right border. And then we can have the solid style for the bottom border. And then we can have the double style for the left border. So this way we can specify style for the four sides of the border. So the first parameter will be the style for the top of the border. The second parameter will be the style for the right side of the border. The third parameter will be the style for the bottom of the border. And the fourth parameter will be the style for the left side of the border. And next we have the border width property. So the border width property specifies the width of the border. Like an example, we can specify 5 pixel. So because we have only one parameter, so the 5 pixel will be applied to the top of the border, right of the border, bottom of the border and the left side of the border. And also we can specify two parameters like 10 pixel. Now the 5 pixel will be applied to the top and bottom of the border and the second parameter will be applied to the right and the left side of the border. And also we can have three parameters. Now the first parameter will be applied to the top of the border. The second parameter will be applied to the right side and the left side of the border. And the third parameter will be applied to the bottom of the border. Now also we can specify four parameters. Now the first parameter will be applied to the top of the border. The second parameter will be applied to the right side of the border. The third parameter will be applied to the bottom of the border and the fourth parameter will be applied to the left side of the border. And next we have the border color property. So the border color property specifies the color of the border. Like in example we can specify red. So the color red will be applied to the four sides of the border. And also we can specify red and green. So the red will be applied to the top and bottom and the green will be applied to the right and the left. And also we can specify four parameters like yellow and blue. So because we have specified four parameters, so the red will be applied to the top of the border, the green will be applied to the right side of the border, the yellow will be applied to the bottom of the border, and the blue will be applied to the left side of the border. And now we can use the shorthand border property and we can specify all of those individual border property in just one property. So first of all we have to specify the width of the border like 5 pixel and then the style of the border solid and then the color of the border red. So we can use the shorthand border property and we can specify all of those individual border property in just one property. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.